Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of multiplication and division. This is standard 6.3e in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 1 of the 2021 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we had a group of four friends pay a total of $50.24. Each friend paid the same amount. So that's going to give us a clue. That we've got equal groups or equal shares. When we are looking at equal groups or equal shares. We are looking at division. So how much did each friend pay for a ticket to the museum? Well, let's just set this up as division. The only trick here, if there is one, is that we have a decimal in the dividend, 50.24. So what we need to do is we need to go ahead and make sure we have a decimal up on our division bar as our answer, so that in that same spot in the quotient, we're going to have a decimal. But besides that, we treat this like as the decimal's not even there. So four. And we'll start with each number once. 4 goes into 5 once. So that's going to be 4. Remember, we only bring out one digit at a time. So 4 goes into 10 twice. So that is going to be, let's see, 8. We're going to subtract. We're going to hit 2. Now, we are going to pretend once again as if that... Uh, decimal is not there. We're just going to bring this 2 down. It's not a 2.2. It's just 22. We've already done everything we need to with the decimal by putting it up in our quotient. 4 goes into 22 five times. So that's going to be 20. And then we've got one more left. And since it is money, it is going to go in evenly. That's going to make it nice. 4 goes into 24 six times. So it looks like our answer is going to be D. Let's just double check, make sure our division is correct by multiplying. So you can always multiply to double check your answer because division and multiplication are inverse operations. So 4 times 6 is 24. 5 times 4 is 20. Add that 2 is 22. 4 times 2 is 8, add that 2 is 10. And then 4 times 1 is 4, add that 1 is 5. I've got two digits behind the decimal in the factor, so I need one, two digits behind the decimal in the quotient. So my answer is going to be that 1256. Now, what if we didn't divide? What if we just saw this 4? in the 5024 and we decided to multiply because you do have equal groups in multiplication as well so maybe we didn't recognize this as a division problem what would that look like well 4 times 4 is going to be 16 carry that 1 4 times 2 is 8 carry that 1 is 9 4 times 0 is 0 and then 4 times 5 is 200. I've got two digits behind the decimal in the factor, so I'm going to have two digits behind the decimal in my product. Now, this is also an answer choice. $200.96, and then my original one of $12.56. Now, we can use a little bit of logic to eliminate this. They paid a total of 5024. So what we have is 5024. That's my total. And we already know there are four friends. So I'm just going to put these into four friends right here. So I've got four different friends. What's going to make sense? Each of those friends is 200 bucks or each of those friends is 1256. It's that 1256 that's going to make sense. That's my answer, D.